write a very lesson three and that's going to be about melodies. In this lesson I'm going to show you a really cool and interesting system that FL Studio 20 has created to significantly improve your chord progressions, melodies and just in general make chords and melodies faster. If we go to the piano roll, the average user of FL Studio should see you know something like this where the black notes are highlighted and the white notes are not, right? But this doesn't really give us anything. It just shows us where are the black notes, where are the white notes. Honestly, we can already see them on the left side over here. So this highlight is kind of useless. FO Studio actually has this interesting system where it can generate custom scales. So if we go to piano roll options, we go to helpers. And of course, we want to check note grid highlights, which is set to black notes only right now. And if we go to scale highlights, we can kind of choose what we want the piano roll to highlight, right? So we can have it by default and that's going to highlight absolutely nothing. If you want to do that, you can leave it as it is. But as a beginner for studio user, I feel like this option for you could be really, really interesting. So if you go to scale highlights again and choose automatic, nothing really changes, right? But take a look at this when I start drawing in notes. Right, something happened here, right? Suddenly some notes are highlighted, suddenly some notes are not highlighted. So at this point, all of the notes that are highlighted in white are usable notes, right? And the notes that are highlighted on, on, in black are not within the scale. But sometimes I've tested it out, you can actually you know, break the scale and it's gonna adapt, but then you have to switch up some notes, you know, for it to sound good, but it's not necessary, you know. You don't always have to be completely in scale. So how does this system really work? So Apple Studio just generates an approximate scale within these three notes that you draw in. So C, F, A, and now we have a scale, right? So now if we just start drawing notes within the scale, it should all be in key. But that's just white notes, right? What if we have, you know, like black notes or something? Same thing goes with black notes. So this is a really interesting and fun way to start making your chords and melodies without really knowing too much about music theory, you know. And this is exactly how we will be making our melody in this lesson. We're going to be using this automatic scale highlight system in FL Studio. And we'll see how that goes and can we actually create something cool out of it. And I already tell you that, that we definitely can. All right, so what sounds we're going to be using for this melody. Well, first I have this lead one sound, a lead two sound, but I'm going to be using the lead two sound to create our bass and maybe later on in the lesson I'm going to just use the lead one sound to add variation to the melodies and chords. So uh, these sounds are coming out of GMS, which is included in FL Studio 20 stock and plugins. Now let me just go to piano over here and we can kind of just start drawing in our melody. And notice I'm only using the highlighted notes. So as you can see, we're using some black notes over here, some white notes over here, but they are all nicely in key, nothing's off, you know. So this really kind of proves us that, you know, the scale highlight system in FL Studio does really work. And yeah, this could potentially really, really speed up your melody progression workflow.
So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm just going to extend that to four bars. Let's see if we can potentially add some lower note keys here. Alright, cool. And uh, I'm also thinking about maybe adding in a crow speed later because uh, I feel like uh, this melody is a bit too blank. Crow speed might help out. But let's see, maybe we can add uh, a couple of more elements in here. Let's turn the velocity down on that note. How to get this menu is you double click on the note and then you can just change the velocity over here instead of just drawing with your mouse because you know it might get really curvy here you can just kind of boost the velocity level of all of the notes perfectly let's see if we can maybe lower down the velocity of these notes here As we can see, we've tried to go along with the highlighted notes that FO Studio chose for us, and that all was based off of the three notes that we drew in in the piano roll. And again, like I said, this might really help you out when you don't really know too much about music theory, you don't really understand how the piano works, you know, you don't really maybe know even the notes here. This is kind of a great way to understand how notes work together a little closely here some of the notes that i chose are not highlighted like the c sharp and the d sharp note and uh, sometimes like i said you don't really always have to be in scale you know music is made for breaking rules and you don't have to always obey the rules so in this case i decided to go out of the scale because i couldn't really find notes that I like within the scale so you know sometimes you might move like one note up or two notes up out of the scale it might work you know so yeah don't always be super restricted to just the highlighted notes uh, experiment you know if you don't like that highlighted note maybe try going one down to the unhighlighted note and maybe that will work you know so yeah don't be scared to experiment and yeah just try different things so now that we got our melody in place i feel like we could spice it up a tiny notch and the way we can do that is we can try experimenting with a built-in style plugin called Grow Speed. So uh, I'm going to assign uh, this lead to 
to a mixer track and currently it's on the 10th mixer track and what we can do is we can just go over here click on grow speed and uh, click momentary and have speed so that's gonna create an effect something like this <laughs> Now this is a great effect but it can really be overused so if you know a channel on YouTube called Genius they have this series where they invite uh, established producers and they show how they make their songs from scratch and a lot of the times uh, you will see them using grow speed so obviously this is a super popular plugin uh, especially in FO Studio users and uh, so yeah this effect can be really quickly overused but unless if you know how to manipulate and work with grow speed in a more abstract way then uh, you know it doesn't really matter as long as you can make the sound great uh, so what we can do here is we can uh, mix between the normal sounding melody with the modified grow speed melody so we can just go over here <laughs> Right, that sounds cool and as you can see over here uh, it shows me that I have trial version of grow speed and uh, why does it say that well I have FL Studio producers edition so in the FL Studio producer edition uh, it actually restricts uh, some of the plugin usage in FL so yeah grow speed is a trial version and some of uh, some other plugins like citrus you know harmer our trial versions as well but it doesn't really matter because we can actually still keep on using grow speed even if it's trial version so I'm going to show you how to do that so for example you can just take the melody put it into a playlist put it on song mode select it and the only thing we have to do now is just render out uh, the, the melody so we can do it in uh, different ways we can either just go to Edison and record it in here like so or we can do the ARM disk recording version, which I prefer more uh, because it's quicker and you don't have to physically listen to the whole melody in order to record it. So look, you can click ARM disk recording. You can go over here, this recording, render to a wave, click start. And that's going to render out the melody in audio format. So now if you preview that, Right, we can now delete grow speed and that we're not gonna get that message every single time that if you save this project, grow speed is not gonna work the next time you open the project, right? So now we have no problem saving the project. Control S, yep, it perfectly saves. And we have our grow speed effect on our sample. And the only downside to this is that you cannot really manipulate the sample that much. You cannot really change uh, notes anymore because it's now converted into audio. Uh, the only alternative would be is to just, you know, physically go to the panel roll, change up some notes, uh, add apply growth speed, and then render again, you know. It just takes up more time, but it's definitely doable. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this lesson, and uh, I'll meet you in the next lesson, guys. Thank <laughs> you.